Well, good evening, good evening. Welcome back to my seven Well, 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 well. Uh, Yvonne Suleyma, hello, good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you? I'm fine, I'm happy because today is Friday. Oh, yeah, that's right. And what about you? Oh, you know, here, just here, same old story, working, working, and more work. <laughs> yeah, this is true. Today is raining. Oh, yeah, beautiful. Yeah. I prefer that. Yeah, me too, actually. I like it when it rains. Yeah. But when I am in my home. At home, at home, at when home. I am at home. When I am, I am at home. Yeah, me too. I mean, yeah, I like it even if I'm out on the street. I like it when it rains. I just love it. 
Yeah. But um, sometimes I don't like uh, when the weather is like like that because uh, you you have a lot of things, for example, your cell phone, and you are worried about that. Oh yeah, yeah, I understand you totally. Mm -hmm. I understand you totally. I mean, sometimes I am riding a motorcycle. Just imagine. Oh, yeah, <laughs> that's a problem, a big problem. Yes, it is horrible. Yeah, and it's dangerous. Yeah, a little bit. You gotta be quite careful. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, how was your day? Tell me. Uh, today was a uh, uh, good day, I think. But um, I, I had um, a strange day because I plan uh, to um, make a meeting with some co-workers, but uh, at the end to of the day, I couldn't. To have a meeting. To have a meeting, but I couldn't. Uh, because um, the next week uh, will be complicated because uh, we are, but well, the company uh, is in trouble with the suppliers. So the next week will be uh, really difficult because uh, we have to. Uh, make uh, some trainings uh, with all the people uh, schedule uh, the different uh, topic and personnel uh, the hours uh, the rooms uh, for the different trainings and I had to travel to uh other plant uh, uh the other plant is next to the airport and i have to give trainings uh to some personnel in that in that plant because it's a it's a new west it's the new west wow so quite busy yeah I have to travel. Uh, uh, I don't know, um, but uh, some people told me that I I had to. I can't pronounce it. Stop. Este, I tengo que estar a las seis de la mañana. No sé cómo decirlo. I have to be. I have, I have to, to be at six a.m. Uh, I have to be at the in the in the plant, uh, okay. waiting for the transportation. Ooh, to the other very plant. early. Yes. Okay. Well, quite interesting. Thank you for sharing with me. I guess you've been quite busy. Yes. And what but about Sunday? Better, what you gonna better, do on Sunday? Um, um, in theory, tomorrow, uh, we, uh, we will go to swim. Oh, really? In, yeah, in the Panteos at six a.m. <laughs> Oh, really? Yeah, but it's not uh, something that I can do uh, usually. It's only like an adventure. Okay. Well, let's hope everything turns out okay for you in your little adventure. 
Yeah, I don't, I don't know if I. Some people said me or told me. Told me. Told me that the water at that time is so cold. But yeah, I can try well, it. Believe it. At that time, I mean, the water in many. <laughs> place rivers stuff like that it's cold <laughs> but especially in that place because it's a natural water it's a, a pool uh, with natural water well let's hope let's hope you don't have any problem and you can enjoy your trip peacefully and good yeah. luck it's gonna be cold <laughs> thank you <laughs> oh thank you welcome thank you teacher and see you okay let's see let's see jose wilfredo hello how are you Hello, teacher. Good evening. So far, it's a good, uh, quite busy for my job, but since God, I couldn't play anything. Couldn't play enough anything. Okay, well, that's nice. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Today, I began to, to, to coverage one new allow B. And one new line of that's some um, that's main line of business. Okay. That is for I don't know if you know something about Medicaid in, oh, yeah, in the United States. Yeah. Have you ever heard about that? So yeah, yeah, I know, I know how yeah, it works. I covering that that line of business, but well, the agent that take the calls have a lot of bad habits at the moment to use the auxiliaries because they use a lot of after call. Uh, that means that you put that, that you use that auxiliary to avoid that other uh, call come into your extension. So I have to report that. And then I have to create one report to and then I have to explain that report to the to the main customer. So quite busy, but thanks God, it's Friday. Um, for my job was uh, my short day, so okay, I left that's early cool. today. Yeah. Your short day. At what time did it end? Uh, I my schedule for today is seven a.m. to three p.m. Okay, that's cool. Yeah, it's really nice. And I have one hour of lunch and I have two breaks for 15 minutes each one. So that's nice. I work it at home. No, you're working from home. Yep, I I working from home. And okay, yeah. that's nice. really nice because my my uh, environment, I could say that my environment is really nice because I uh, play music, so I listen to music. And it's nice. Yeah, it's really nice. Oh, I don't feel. So, I don't feel. I don't feel so, when the time is over. Wow, so glad to hear it because I mean sometimes uh and you avoid well not the that traffic. much traffic but <laughs> yeah you avoid traffic and and the expenses I mean because when you are working far from home you spend money you spend some money yeah that's fine I got traffic I got some traffic when I go to to the yeah, chicken to the microbus. I got the uh huh yeah, but that was a little bit. Yeah, but I mean it's not out of the ordinary. I mean, 
um, we are used to it. Yeah, that's right. Because when I remember that when I went to the site, I spent like one hour stuck in traffic. So that's not good. No, of course it's not. Yeah. But, and what about for Sunday? What you got for Sunday? Tell me. Oh, for Sunday? Well, this uh, weekend, I have to study a lot. Already? Yeah. Because of I, the account? I have to cover it. Uh, what? Because of the account? No, no, no. I have to study uh, because I preparing for my test of the university. So. Yeah. So you have to go over some material. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. I don't want to. I don't want to leave any until the end. Yeah, you don't want to procrastinate. Yeah, that's right. I don't want to pro procrastinate, right? Yeah. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, of course, it's never good. It's never good. Yeah, that's right. I prefer. If I have a um, extra time, maybe I could make another review. Yeah, I mean, that's another possibility. I mean, if you have any free time, you can make a, you can go over material, make a review and check out if there's something or perhaps any concept that is complex for you, stuff yeah, like that, right? right. Yeah, that's right. I plan in maybe finish to study the that uh, that course. It's a yeah, I guess that is one course uh, for one uh, for one month. I guess the four or six materials. I guess that are okay. Well, let's hope everything turns out okay for you. Yeah, no, but. That's gonna be okay because, well, I think that I could course that a uh, career on five or six years at least, and then I could enjoy a lot because, you know, teacher, uh, when you speak another language, uh, you get um uh, better possibilities to get a, a good job. Yeah, of course. Of course, I mean, that's, nowadays it's mandatory. Yeah, and with, with one uh, um, career from the university, so that's gonna be, well, you're gonna get yeah, a, I mean, a double. It helps. Yeah, helps, help a lot. Yeah, and you gotta take advantage of of any opportunity, I mean, any resource you can have. Yeah, that's right. And I have one of the skills that I learned too fast. That's cool. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, because I mean, that's a good skill to have. If yeah, you're a fast right. learner, I mean, you yeah. got like, you got the opportunity to, to, to get better and to learn more yeah yeah that's right that's right so i guess that that's gonna be okay let's hope so yeah that's right well what about you teacher me work work um work and well, no, actually, yeah, I went to the gym. I had the chance to go to the gym. It was good. Hey, and what yeah. about with the with the fight that your son had? He had two fights. Huh? He had two fights on the same day. Mm -hmm. and it was a he super four. He won one, he lost one. Oh, but that's good because maybe he was tired. Yeah, he the first one was to qualify for the for the championship, oh. and he lost the championship. 
Oh, really? Yeah, he, uh, the problem was that he just could rest for one hour and then he had the other five. Yeah, but, well, but, you know, we learn about the, about the, what? We learn about the, I don't remember that word, teacher. I don't remember the word in English, even in the Spanish. <laughs> what? Well, we learned uh, about every case. From? We uh, learn from, learn every, from, every from case. Any, any situation. Yeah, that's, that's the word, teacher. We learn from any situation, that's, that's right. Yeah. Well, no, maybe maybe he won experience i guess that yeah yeah actually know? it was it was pretty close it was pretty close but you know that happens yeah that's right and you know teachers that maybe on every fight you have to give the best on each yeah, fight yeah so that's why he was tired but no it's a good experience for him. Yeah, that's right. It's a good that's experience. Right. Let's hope next one is going to be better because, yeah. I mean, he cannot go. They are, we're going to, I mean, they are going to Guatemala and then they are going to Honduras, but he won't be able to attend those two, those two right. because, yeah, because of the university, you know, yeah. the schedule. Oh, yeah. yeah. So, most probably he will fight again until uh, September. And then he will qualify for, for those uh, fighters. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, well, we'll see. We'll see because I mean, it also, it depends on him. If he uh -huh. wants to, how does he feel for fighting again? But uh, he's, Instructor says that everything is okay, so mm. we will see. Hey, but you know that uh, when you practice uh, one sport, uh, something like that, uh, you have to invest a lot of time. Yeah, he does. So he invests he invest a lot. You have of to time. pay attention to uh, the sport, and then you have to pay attention for the for the university too. But. Yeah. And that's why uh, he is not going to attend those other two dates uh, out of the country because of uh, his university. I mean, he's prioritizing the university first and the yeah. sport. Yeah, that's right. That's and, cool. Uh, if you check, I sent you something, the one on rail. Oh, yeah, yeah, I got it. That's the one. Um. Yeah, he looks like you. Thing. He enjoys that thing. Yeah. Yeah. They are always asking me why that I don't train with him, and I'm like, nope, I'm allergic to pain. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty allergic to pain. You know, that's not for me. That's funny, no? But that's a good sport. But I'm yeah. I don't really like it. But I I. I like to watch those fights. Yeah, yeah. And that's good for me, just watching outside. I'm pretty nice uh, there. Yeah, that's right. Hey, Mr. Uh, nice talking to you. Welcome. Hey, thank you, teacher. No, thanks to you. Man, I get excited and I forgot. You know, everybody's like mad at me because I'm not talking more. Ada, hello, Ada. Good evening. Hello, teacher. Good evening. I give me just a second. Anna. Sorry, 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 Ada. Hello. Ada, Hello. I got a I got a question for you. Tell me. The other day, did they help you fix the problem? Fix the problem? For the, with the platform. 
Yes, teacher. Continue, continue the, the problem, the platform. I the um, in in my computer is the equal problem. The same problem. Okay. Yes. Mm. Let's do something, Ada. Please remind if you have the chance of reminding me tomorrow morning. Okay. I will talk. I will go one step ahead. Okay, teacher. Voy a, voy a hablar con el siguiente escalón de la cadena, ¿ok? Sí, to, ese tema lo tuve desde, desde el módulo anterior. Yeah, but we will try to fix it because right now I was checking in the platform and it doesn't appear none, zero advance. Yes, zero tengo. <laughs> yeah, you got zero. No, but yes. in the last level you got grades. Uh-huh. But in this one, you ain't got nothing. Yes, yes, teacher. It's a, it's a, it's a problem. <laughs> yeah, big problem. But we will yes. fix it. We will fix it. Yes. Welcome, Ada. Thank you. Thank you. Be sure to remind me. Okay, guys. Uh, let me get the attendance. Ada Susana Cáceres Mendoza. Present, teacher. Alfredo Ale Alejandro Alfredo Sagasto Medias. Ana Claudia González Velázquez. Present teacher. Dani Josué García Martínez. Present teacher. Eloisa Beatriz Mercado Mancía. Fernando Marvin González Martínez. Present teacher. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejía. Jairi Eugenia Salguero de Rivas. Present teacher. Ileana Giselle Cañas Escobar. Irina Susana Cuellar Albanés. Present teacher. Thank you. Jose Marcos Rodríguez Ayala. Present. Jose Osmin Rivas Navas. Present. Jose Wilfredo Ayala Sorto. Present teacher. Juan Carlos Romero López. Present teacher. María Alejandra Barrientos Romero. Present. Ramón Enrique Mata Escobar. Roberto Luis Sumaña Orellana. Roxana Iveda Asensio de Mejía. Steven Vladimir Villacorta Rivera. Suleyma Ivonne Moreno de Hernández. Present. Thank you. So let's see. Heidi, long time not talking to you. Hey, that's true, teacher. Yeah, it's been a long while. Yeah, one day you connected late, that's why. Yeah, remember when the month is about to end? Yeah. The closing is crazy for you, right? Yeah, that's right. Yeah, but it's part of the game, right? Yeah, but this month since is um no mm -hmm. long. I'm sorry. This time is longer than others. Oh yeah, this is a long mm -hmm. month. Uh-huh. This is a so long we got enough one. time. That's cool. And what about the goals? Did you get them? Not all of them. Ouch. But not all of them, but well, it's okay. Okay, but at least you got a good average. Yes. Yes. Um, uh, how do you say punto de equilibrio? Point of equilibrio. Hmm? Okay, well, that's good. Uh -huh. I mean, uh -huh. And that's good for your branch, right? Yeah, right. We all are. We all are, are I'm having commission. Oh, that's nice. So, what about the weekend? Tell me. Let's forget a little bit about the, the job, you know. For the weekend? Ah, let yeah. me tell you that my my daughter started working. And for the oh, first really? time, for the first time, she has invited me to go to the salon. 
Both oh my them. gosh. For the first time. <laughs> girl's time. Girl's time. Yeah. yeah That's I feel cool. So happy for her. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. I feel so proud. And you know what? That's that's the expression exactly I was thinking about. Yeah, you know what makes me feel more proud? Yeah. She's working for Banco Agricola, so she's a banker just like her mom. <laughs> but she's the competence. Mm. Yeah, but it's okay. It's okay. Okay, well, yeah, that's nice. I mean, the, the important thing is that she is already working. I mean, and it's a big... Uh, uh, mm. Very different <laughs> areas because she's in finance. Yeah, but oh my gosh, you wouldn't believe the word that I, it's keeping my mind. Achievement. It's a big achievement. Sure. Sure. For both of you, actually. I mean, we as parents, I mean, we enjoy our kids' uh, achievements. Yeah, I know, right? I really, I'm really, really happy. You know, uh, this kind of happiness is very special. You only feel it a few times. Yeah, I know, I know. It's a, such a good experience. Yeah. And so nice. And is tomorrow your day off? Yes, tomorrow's my day off. Oh, even better. I was, I was going to tell you that she's about to graduate from, from university. But what's her career again? Economy and business. Economy. Mm, mm -hmm. That's cool. Mm -hmm. That's cool, yeah. It's so and nice. She's that... just, yeah, she's just 21. Oh, my gosh. She's a little kid. Mm -hmm. Can you believe it? Yeah, she's a little kid. Mm -hmm. well, but she's smart. Were, she's very smart. Where were we when we were 21? Where were you when you were 21, Heidi? I was already working at the bank. <laughs> yeah, me too. When I was 21, let me see. Oops, I started teaching at the university when I was 20. Mm. Yeah. Nice I was old. I was old at 21. <laughs> I started working when I was 18. Yeah, well, no, in my mm -hmm. case, working, working, I started working. That's funny, you know, I finished my high, my high school, the third year of high school when I was 16. Oh, really? Yeah. And why is it? And they didn't love me at home, so they kicked me out every day to go to school. <laughs> I the, yeah remember back in the days you could get enrolled at the school pretty at a pretty small age. I I started like uh, basics first first grade when I was uh, five. At uh, that time, I I mean the thing is this: I learned how to read and write when I was four. So it was oh, easy it? for me. Yeah. My my son, I, my son. I told you they didn't started, like me at home. Mm -hmm, my son started reading when, before he was three. You know. Yeah, and then let's see, and something else that helped me was when I was uh, the in the. Oh, I forget how to say this in English. In el internado. I was in a, in, a, in a military school when I was a little kid. And I was like, let's see, five, six, seven, when I was from eight to 12, mm -hmm. I was studying in a military school and it was cool. I mean, it's, it shapes, it really shapes the, the mind in towards, it internship. helps you to focus, yeah. Internship? Yeah, no, but when we talk about uh, boarding school, yes, thank you, Juan Carlos. That's the word, boarding okay. school. Mm -hmm. Thank you. And thank can you, I thank ask you, you? And can I ask you why you attended a military school? My dad liked it. My dad liked it, so that's why they sent me. Oh, really? You know what they say, right? Yeah, no, I wasn't, I was not a problematic kid. 
to be honest, I was quite shy. Oh, really? Yeah, I was pretty shy. I mean, uh, but, but they say they teach you discipline, right? Yeah, they do. They do. And you oh, are, are uh, ordered of obsessive or not? In some in some aspects of my life, I am. Like uh, one of the things that I hate is coming home and finding my house like messed up. I cannot stand it. I start cleaning. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. I mean, I don't I don't complain. I start doing it myself. Mm -hmm. I don't like it. I fix it. Mm -hmm. And yeah, for some typical. things, yeah, that's typical. For some things, I'm like that. I'm the same in my job. I mean, if I arrive at school and things are not in order, uh, I try to fix it. The other thing is that, uh, you know, I work, I also work with kids. Mm -hmm. So if I, if I send my kids to do something, I am right next to them. Mm -hmm. Just so, watching. Uh, <laughs> no, I am right next to them working. <laughs> Ah, okay, okay. <laughs> because uh, I mean, uh, I won't, I won't ask them to do something that I am not you willing do. to do. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. It's good, as it, I told you. I, if it yeah, is a so, punishment, if it is a punishment, if it's exercise, if we are, if sometimes they ask us to do uh, cleaning campaigns, stuff like that. I mean, I'm the first one to grab a broom and start doing it. I don't like just to order. My I husband like... says, my husband says I order too much that I'm used to order. And... Hmm. Well, you know, first off, know you're a mom. Food. That's normal. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> that's normal. You're a mom. That's normal. That's the, the first degree you get in order to order people around is being a mom. Then you're a wife. That's normal. Ah, you see, I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm <laughs> kidding. <laughs> I'm kidding. Heidi, nice talking to you. Thank you, teacher. Thanks to you. Let's see. Who else is around? We got a lot of people tonight. Uh, 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 uh. Danny, hello, Danny. How are you? Hello, teacher. I'm fine. I'm fine. Okay. How's yeah. everything? Tell me. Thank God it's Friday. <laughs> T G A with the song in my head. <laughs> well, <Yeah. laughs> um, because I'm I don't work tomorrow, and is um, it's a good thing that I could I can rest for the weekend. Yeah, of um, course it is. Today was a very quiet day, very calm, um, just uh, doing um, um, how can I say Com compulsory or mandatory courses. Is 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 it right? Mandatory. Mandatory courses. Yeah, obligatory. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, and then um, just some meetings and <laughs> and catch up on some e emails and and just that. Um, it was a very, very, very quiet Friday. I and it's been a long time that <laughs> I don't have this this a day like like today. Um, it's good well, to marry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And well, and the for tomorrow, well, I have no plans, <laughs> and just to watch the. With a Champions League final. <laughs> oh, really? Is it tomorrow? Yeah, yeah, it's tomorrow. Uh, well, 1 p.m. Enjoy it. <laughs> 1 p.m. Yeah. Let me see. 
Me, where am I going to be at 1 p.m.? Oh, listening to a class and on my way to work. Uh, <laughs> no good luck for me. While you're driving, you are hearing a class. Ah, yeah. Oh. Yeah, okay. Quite interesting. <laughs> yeah, I mean, um, my problem is time. Always is time. I need more hours. But, uh, you don't think it's a little risky? <laughs> Uh, no, well, what I do is well, I connect the the, the 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 cell phone to the because I'm listening to it on the cell phone. I yeah. connect it to the to the car to stereo the, the and car. yeah. Oh, okay, okay. And instead of watching of listening to music, I'm I'm listening to it. And if I well, if I have to to ride a motorcycle, I get the 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 earbuds just in one ear oh, okay. and i get one free so i can <laughs> listen yeah. with one and with the other one the street you get used to it believe me you get uh, quite used to it yeah for me uh it sounds a little <laughs> risky <laughs> because you know you, you have to put attention with all you uh, i don't know uh, environment environment yeah yeah everything around yours yeah but the good yeah. thing is this where that on saturday where i drive is i mean i get all the highway from here to to san salvador oh, okay. to la gloria actually mm -hmm. mm, yeah. because uh, i got to teach a class saturday afternoon there and and it's a it's a personalized class so oh, okay i mean uh, i'm not like in a hurry I am like relaxed driving mm, mm, and it's okay. not a problem if I arrive, if there's a lot of traffic, well, I just call and let them know, but usually I'm on oh, time. Okay. I always try to go before. It's with, a very flexible with, uh, job. Yeah, but to be honest with you, I always like to be on time. So what I do yeah. is I always try to, to leave my house with time to spare or to mm. if I have, if I finish my previous job in the morning because i teach in the morning at another place if i finish there too late i rather go straight there instead of passing home in order mm. to be on time i mean sometimes okay. to be honest with you i am parked like a, a block from where i gotta go teach like for 10 15 minutes just waiting relax mm, okay. but for me it's better to be early and not late yeah. oh, okay yeah, okay. That's good. That's good, teacher. So that's and why I can be I, listening, but I'm not stressed. I mean, I'm not like, mm -hmm. man, I gotta, no, I go mm -hmm. slow. Okay. Okay. You you, you live with um, enough time. Yeah. Okay. That's good. Yeah, because driving is complex. Nowadays it's complex. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, even in 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 a highway <laughs> yeah you have to yeah. you have to watch out yeah yeah be very careful okay but uh, on sunday i don't have any plans uh, maybe <laughs> maybe i read something <laughs> i have a lot of books to read <laughs> in my list oh, really? Yeah, okay. or some podcast to listen to. Oh, really? Something you like listening to podcasts? Good. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I could never quite got the hang of it. Why? <laughs> uh, I don't know. I, I mean, how can I say it? I'm a reader, so okay. I love reading. Okay. But if I am listening to it, I don't, I don't quite catch it in the same way. Okay. For me, it doesn't okay. work the same. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but I mean, yeah, not everything works the same for all of us. Okay. Uh, so uh, the audiobooks uh, neither. <laughs> no, 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 don't work for okay. me. I don't, okay, I mean, don't work I enjoy, for me. Yeah, I enjoy reading it and. I, I read a lot on my cell phone or the tablet, but to be honest, nothing compares to holding the, the physical book mm. in my hands. Okay. For me, that's the best. 
Okay, okay. Danny, nice talking to you. Welcome. Thank you, teacher. Thank you. Let's see, do I still have time? Yeah. Well, tonight we are going to have this conversation. Then in the then we are going to work a lot on the manual. We have to cover a couple of points in the manual. It's gonna be easy. And we are going to interact a lot. And oh, by the way, Monday we are going to have mostly conversation class. Just to remind you guys, for Monday, uh, you are supposed to finish until section three. Okay, please don't forget that you are supposed to have finished until section three. Now, something that I want to point out to you is the fact that uh, I still got some people who have not done, not finished the platform, not work in the platform in section one, two, nor Milton. And I mean, remember, there's going to be just one more week because we finish uh, January, June the 6th. That Monday is going to be our last class. So if you have any problem with the platform, let me know so we can help you. Uh, any exercise that is complex or perhaps you don't quite get it, let me know so I can help you. But let's start working because some of us need to, to make a little bit of an effort because, you know, we have left behind a couple of lessons. Okay, well, let's continue. Let's see, Ana Claudia, hello, how are you? Hello, teacher, good evening. How are you? Good evening. I'm just fine, what about you? I'm doing well. I'm happy because it's Friday and next week I have a lot of personal errands to do. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. What you gonna be doing Sunday? Saturday and Sunday? Saturday, attending the lesson class. I have the first. Oh, yeah. yeah, I had the first exam. <laughs> Good luck. Oh, I don't know how we're going to do, but well. Uh, there we had the first exam. And the thing is that what I have difficulties is it's because the class is not uh, being recorded. So I must write and draw the signs as I understand them. But I'm recalling right now that some of, I don't remember some of them very well. So I'm trying to, I'm going to study tomorrow morning. I, that is my purpose tomorrow morning. The class and the exam starts from, goes from two to 5 p.m. And then I, I will rest because I won't be, yeah, I won't be working, let's say in the uh, all next week, but I'm always connecting because I need to send like, one or two email to important people or some pending sales and stuff like that. As I'm going to, what I'm going to do is take advantage of the free time to complete a lot of personal errands. I, they have been there in the agenda, but they're completed. Well, let's hope and um, time's enough for you to fulfill <laughs> all your... Know. Oh, it because there is la wow we need to clean a lot because remember the men were working and they i can say they just finished until today and it's just missing a little thing but that will be completed on tuesday uh, they are going to replace the physical switch and switch is the correct word yes yeah oh, okay and then that yes where you connect the power for stuff yes no power that's switch. the no that's the outlet i the outlet that is the word the electrical outlet okay so they need to they were reviewing and checking some of them and surprise we find out that there are two of them that they are a there were per years there were there was like uh, water filtering the wall so do you imagine where the cable is is uh, 
I, how can I say, húmedo, <laughs> is uh, wet, kind of wet. Yeah. Uh -huh. And um, so they must replace those outlets. But it's something that just may take like one hour on Tuesday. That is the only thing missing. And then uh, my plan is to start saving again because now we need to, the purpose, the next step, is maybe in one or two months is uh, painting <laughs> the house. After all these dirty uh, that was generated because of the roofs uh, construction, mm -hmm. now we want to go down. The plan is was starting from going from above to down. <laughs> I don't know if it's correct to say above. Yeah. Oh, okay. Right. Uh, up to down. So now all the upper side of my home is complete, let's say. <laughs> so that's my plan for the weekend. Study today, will, tomorrow, I'm sorry, will be a, a busy day. And Sunday, I will rest. Okay. Well. Let's hope everything turns out okay for you. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. So let's see, let's see, how was it? Uh, it's like, let's see, it's like this. What? No, I don't know what is that. <laughs> the, the Good sick. luck. Oh, but that is in English, the international, right? Yeah. Uh, okay, I'm learning the lesa. Oh. The, so they, I guess they don't use. Someone was explaining me that the international or the one using English word is like kind of different because they use signs like starting with the first letter of the word. I, I don't know if that, that's why I guess the good luck was with the G on both sides. The, scene, the sign you made. Yeah, to be honest, me neither. Not sure. They are different, kind of different. Good luck. Let's hope everything turns out okay on your exam. <laughs> Thank you. Let's see. Still got time? Yep. Uh, it's me. Hello, mister. How are you? Great, teacher, great. How's everything? What's your day? Um, today was good. So everything the same. So that, that was, was good. Okay, and what's the plan for the weekend? So tomorrow, so I have planned the morning to go to uh, like place that that is, I don't know how to say, Casa Cultural. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. So, yeah, so because it's, there is a bank that is like playing, so in order to go to Mexico, so, and they invite me, so this previous week on Saturday, and I accepted, so I will That's take nice. my vacations. Yeah, I will take my vacation in order to go to Mexico. So when are you leaving? Uh, it's, let's see, on October the 31st. Okay, so you have time to plan it. Yeah, that's right. So taking advantage so of my weekend out. So yeah, so actually there are like playing on Saturday and Sunday in the morning. So now, so I have day off. So on those days, so I will take advantage in order to, to practice a lot. That's nice, let's go. You can yes. practice enough and you can do a, a good job over there. Yeah, that's right. Welcome, nice having you here. Thanks, teacher. I'll nice see you.
let's see, uh, 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 Eliana, hello, how are you? Hello, teacher, good evening. I'm here. Hmm. Hello. How's everything? Fine, teacher, everything is fine. Yep. Okay, tell me, what's the plan for the weekend? What you gonna do? Mm, I don't know yet. I don't have plans yet, but maybe um, Sunday, maybe, well, I have to, to buy a dress for another wedding, so. Oh my gosh. Yeah, all my friends are getting married. <laughs> but well, go for them. It's not sure yet, but maybe on Sunday. Mm -hmm. I, mm -hmm. But sincerely, I don't have plans. Like plans? No. Maybe just stay home and sleep. And hopefully uh, the weather uh, the weather helps me to, to sleep well. Yeah, yeah, because the weather is well tonight is cool, nice. The weather well, is here, crazy, teacher. Yeah, because in the morning it was hot. Mm -hmm. When I work in the morning it was hot, but you know, around one, it was cold. And I mean cold. And cloudy, very cloudy. Yeah. Actually, to be honest with you, I got a headache out of it. Mm. Because it was pretty hot, and one hour after that, it was very cold. And I don't know, I got a headache. I guess I'm too old for that. Yeah, I feel I I have that feeling too today. But that's that's El Salvador for you. <laughs> yep. <laughs> but yeah, teacher. That's that's the plan. No plans yet. Wow. And mm -hmm. and the day was was normal, same routine, and well. We have uh, dinner that I told you before with my aunt. Yeah, yeah, you and told me. Mm -hmm, and everything was, gets well. What and was there for? What was there for dinner? Because uh, if I'm not mistaken, you were telling me yesterday that she was going to pick something, but she was going to tell me until today, right? Yeah, you don't believe me, but at the end, she was like. You know what? You know what? But she sometimes she she tell she calls me like a baby or, or that kind of pretty nicknames, and she she told me like, mm, baby, you know I want pupusas, delicious pupusas, but uh, she chose a different place today for eat pupusas, and you know we ate pupusas. Pupusa your favorite national Salvadoran dish. <laughs> uh, yeah, well, you know, uh, pupusas, uh, that's fine. Yeah, but pupusas. You know, right when my class finished tonight, I'll, I'll go to the gas station, because tonight at home, right. no, the dinner was not pupusas, even worse, tamales. <laughs> Even worse, but tamales are delicious. You know why I say even worse? Because if there's nothing else, I can eat pupusas even if I don't like it. But tamales, no way, Jose. I rather starve myself, but not tamales. <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! So, no, so, my dra team. so dramatic, teacher. So dramatic. Yeah, I know. I know. <laughs> Hey, Liana, nice talking Did to you. you. Are you Thank a really you. Salvadorian? <laughs> yeah, I am, I am. But uh, those things are not for me. Let's see, let's see. Uh, uh, I still got a couple of minutes. Let's see who else is around. I could have so nice saw Maria Alejandra here. Maria Alejandra, hello. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening, how are you? You awake? She was like, yeah, anyway. <laughs> no, teacher, I'm fine. Thank you to listen to the class. 
Okay, yeah, because tonight it's been like me talking with all of you one by one and it's been long. Uh, so what sorry. about you? <laughs> what you got for the weekend? Um, maybe the more the same. The same for the work. I have a long day. Maybe change my plan for the Lord and come to my uh, friend house because was a a super player, a match. match uh -huh. uh, but I, I don't like, I only uh, go for the food and I okay. work. Okay, <laughs> that's a good reason to attend the pool. Uh, and spend uh, time with with us because maybe it's my friend that married uh, uh, one more ago or like oh, this. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. And maybe to present uh, the house or like this. <laughs> yeah, man. Poor girl. <laughs> yes, and maybe in the night. Um, at night. At night, I go to the Plaza Madero with uh, for dinner with my friends for the uh, Garcia. Oh, really? Uh huh. And mm, that's nice. I try to, I don't, uh, maybe to taste a uh, koi. Or Santa Teresa, or depends that the that good in these places that you order for their different restaurants and stay in uh, the same table. Okay, that's cool. Mm -hmm. And only that for Sunday. Oh uh, that's really, it. I don't have plans. Maybe in the night, I think that depends. At night. At night, uh, I see a. Uh, Ana Belinda and Ana Oh, really? Yeah, uh -huh. Marta. Uh -huh. Say hi hey, to Roxana. her. Roxana. Uh -huh. Oh. Uh -huh. Maybe I cross by my. Bad influence. Bad influence. <laughs> you and Roxana, bad influence for Ana Belinda. No, teacher. There but maybe I have the opportunity to share with her. And for the night, at night. That's and... cool. Say uh -huh. hi to her from me, please. Okay, teacher. <laughs> don't forget it. No, don't forget. <laughs> and only that. Thank, I don't have thank you, Maria Alejandra. Welcome. Okay, teacher. Welcome. Let's see. Time. Sorry, guys. Sorry, welcome, Francisco, Steven, Fernando, um, Juan Carlos. I'm sorry, no more time for me to, to keep on talking, but we are going to have another section where we are going to have conversation. Welcome, all of you. It's time to jump to the next activity. Before we do it, uh, let me get the attendance, please. Ada Susana Cáceres Mendoza. Present, teacher. Alejandro Alfredo Sagasto Medias. Ana Claudia González Velázquez. Present. Dani Josué García Martínez. Present. Eloisa Beatriz Mercado Mancía. Fernando Marvin González Martínez. Present. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejía. Present, teacher. Jairi Eugenia Salguero de Rivas. Present. Ileana Giselle Tenez Escobar. Present, teacher. Irina Susana Cuellar Albanés. Present teacher. José Marcos Rodríguez Ayala. Present. José Osmín Rivas Navas. Present. José Wilfredo Ayala Sorto. Present teacher. Juan Carlos Romero López. Present teacher. María Alejandra Barrientos Romero. Present teacher. Ramón Enrique Mata Escobar. Roberto Luis Maña Orellana. Roxana Iveta Asensio de Mejía. Steven Vladimir Villacorta Rivera. Present. 
Present. Suleyma Ivonne Moreno de Hernández. Present. Thank you very much. Let's see, guys. Next activity. Okay, we're gonna work in the in the manual. But let me share with you. Okay, remember this is the insert for manual. We are working in page number 30. A unit three, exercise three. We are talking here about the it clauses. Look at the examples in the box, then complete the exercises below. We use it plus an adjective, essential, vital, etc., plus an infinitive verb to express that something is relevant. Like in the example, it is crucial to create a crisis management team. Then look, it's essential to identify potential crisis. Look at the example in number one. It is important to assist is legal agencies. It is important to assist legal agencies. This exercise is piece of cake. You will have just two minutes to solve it. Then we come back and we do it here together. You're gonna be working in this one in pairs, okay? Because it's quite easy. This is piece of cake. So guys, let me see. Just give us something. Okay, groups are created, please jump in. Hello, Irene. Hello. Hello, teacher. Hello, my dear. Um, do you, do you have the image? Of the exercise. One. Okay, I'm sending it to you right now. Okay, thank you. Thank you, teacher. No problem. Okay. Exercise number two. Is it is necessary to provide accurate information? Are you agree? Yeah. 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 Are you there? Yes, yeah, yes, yeah, sorry. Uh, I tried to edit my PDF and oh, okay. I waited too. I sent the image to the group. Yes, but I don't have a pen. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> I try to write in my PDF and, and then to try to have a, a pen. <laughs> watch or just watch the 
the exercise and order and the She's just work. trying to give us problems, you know. Okay, ladies, just excuse me for a second, please. I have a sort of a inconvenience it right here. Yes. It is human. It is human to. No. Human is. Mm -mm. It is. It is. No sé cómo es esta. Me primero es it is it an adjective essential vital and infinitive it verb. Is. Mm. It is. Es que me, creo que está equivocado porque donde dice mistakes no tendría que llevar el make creo que sería it is human to make mistakes mm. maybe uh -huh. I try to put it in. Uh -huh. maybe. it is human to make mistakes. The other is, it is the grit is critical to prepare for litigation sanctions. For litigation, for litigation. Okay. What are these? Did he finish, ladies? Responsible. Not yet, teacher. Uh, teacher, uh, yep. I think there is a mistake in the exercise number three. Let me check it. Hold on, give me a second. In the last part. Give me just a second. Give me just a second. <laughs> Exercise number three. Yeah. I think that you have to drop uh, the word make in the last part, make mistake, because uh, for me, the correct way to solve the exercise is it is human to make mistakes. And there is to oh, make. Yeah. To make, make mistakes. Yeah. Uh huh. Yeah, you're right. Okay. Uh, number five is it, it is responsible to show a proof of ex expertise.
Okay, let's see. Okay, Fernando, number two, please, what you got? Uh, it's sorry. It is necessary to provide information. It is necessary to provide accurate information. Accurate, sorry. It is necessary to provide accurate information. Perfect. Now let's see, let's see. Francisco, number three. Hello, Francisco. Hello, teacher. I'm sorry. Okay. There is a mistake a... here. It appears two times make. You just need to take into an account one. Okay, teacher. Uh, it is a make mistake, the human. It is human to make mistakes. It is human to make mistakes. Errar es de humanos. You sure? Yep. Um, what about it is for human? No. 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 The phrase it is, is human it to is, make mistakes. It is make human is to make mistakes. Right? Yeah, okay. it's duplicate. Uh -huh. That's why I, I cross it out here. But <laughs> remember that the, the, the phrase, the meaning is errar es de humanos. It is for him. It is to human. No, it is human to make mistakes. It is human, it is human to make mistakes. Yep, yeah, that's the phrase. Thank you. Thank you. Problem. Let's see. Marcos, number four. Okay. Um, number four. It is critical to prepare for litigation and fines. Okay, it is critical to prepare for litigations and claims. Perfect, Juan Carlos, you got number five. Okay. It is important, it is important to manage resources efficiently. Effectively. Effectively, effectively sorry. Perfect. <laughs> It is important to manage resources effectively. Quite perfect, guys. Thank you very much. Did you oh, have a question? Yeah. So this is the like a continuation of the clause, the zero, one, two, three, and this is the it clause. It's part of all of those? Yeah, remember that there are adjective clauses, adverbial clauses. It's oh. just close, it's a term which refers to a, to a sentence. Ah, okay. okay, okay. To a different type of sentences. Mm -hmm. So in this case, it is it close because we got the it plus the adjective. If you notice when we say it is crucial. Mm -hmm. It's it like a crucial. mass. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is a verb, okay? Mm -hmm. No, I'm sorry, this is the adjective. Yeah, this is that. the verb. This is the verb of the sentence. Mm -hmm. But actually, when you understand the sentence, the main verb, the main idea uh, is that we communicate with the verb is this one, with the one that is in infinity. Mm -hmm. If you look at the structure, the structure is subject, verb, complement. Crucial to create a crisis management team. But if you notice, the, the main idea, the main action is to create, mm -hmm. to identify. Okay. So that's why the it closes are very interesting because it is crucial, it is essential, it is important. Mm -hmm. okay? okay. Got it. Thank you. It is responsible. Right? Mm -hmm. Exactly. 
I understand that like like it's a it's a must cannot be missed. Yeah. So uh, and when we talk about clauses, clauses are those are sentences. Sentences, sentences oh, okay. that sometimes they can be uh, dependent or independent. Okay. Uh, okay. Okay. Sometimes they can work like that, and sometimes they work depending on a situation. Those are conditions. Mm -hmm. Ah, okay. Okay, got it. Now I got understanding. Thank you. So the idea is that when you talk about clauses, you're talking about the sentence that that performs as a specific function. Mm -hmm. okay? In mm -hmm. this case, the it clauses, the function that they perform is that they express that something is relevant. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay, got it. Okay, perfect. Now guys, uh, okay, this is your project for this class. In this project, I mean, you choose one of the possible prices that may strike your company. You have to design a basic crisis management plan which considers the sequence from above. Which sequence are we talking about this one? You need to order the sequence in which a crisis management plan should be created. Okay, so we come here. The exercise says order the sequence. We got provide crisis training evaluations, create a crisis management team, uh, develop a management crisis plan, assess potential crisis, establish guidelines for information gathering. Okay, guys, now the order for this, we're in page number 30, unit three, it's a size two. Just give me a second, please. Bear with me just for a minute. Let's see. The order is as follows, okay? Assess potential crisis, number one. Establish guidelines is number two. Uh, create a crisis management team, that's number three. Develop a management crisis plan, that's number four and provide crisis training evaluations. That's the sequence in which a crisis management plan should be created. Now, I am sharing this with you in the, in the group. Because what you gotta do, the project with that we have is this one. I'm also gonna share it with you. A second, there we go. Okay. I share with you already on the group both things the order 
And now I'm going to explain the activity from here. Okay, you have to choose one of the possible prices that may strike your company. You have to design a basic crisis management plan which considers the sequence, the sequence that I gave you already, remember? So this activity, it says here, present your crisis management plan to your partners. But what you're going to do is work on your own and all along next week, I need you to please send it to me. So if you got it ready for Monday, send it to Monday, send it on Monday. If you have it ready for Wednesday, that's okay. The deadline is Friday. Now, what do I want? A small project, one, two pages, it's more than enough, okay? What I want are phrases, okay? Now, uh, what am I asking for it before Friday? That way I can check them on the weekend and help you out with corrections. That's an extra activity. Is it mandatory for you to do it? No, it is not mandatory for you to do it. But if you do it, it will be good because I can start helping you how to write better because remember you are going into advance so the idea is you can start practicing you can start improving up to now we've been creating just little phrases little paragraphs now i want something a little bit longer am i clear with the instructions what you're going to do yes teacher okay we need to choose a crisis no that's so clear for me yeah yeah, whichever crisis could happen to your company. Ah, okay. We create a scenario and yeah. we, we make the plan, we resolve. Yeah, exactly. Okay. And we create it like, as a paragraph using the uh, it close? Using all, all the English you got <laughs> up to now. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Uh, I mean, and in some cases, it's going to be easy for you because some companies, they've got plans. What I want you is to do is to make a small summary. But remember, not just one paragraph. Make it longer, okay? Make it a little bit longer. So that's the activity. And remember, it's, uh, I repeat, it is not mandatory. If for any reason you cannot do it, that's okay. If you can do it, please before Friday so I can check it out and help you out and make correction as necessary. How long you want it teacher? How long? Because it can uh, be really long. <laughs> minimum it. one page. Maximum. Up to you my dear. Oh really? I mean yeah well let's put a let's set a limit of five pages. Bank, Heidi. <laughs> let's set a limit of five pages. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, I mean, let's set a limit on five pages because I mean, the thing is this, let's be honest. I know the, the, the English level of some of us here. So it's not worth it if you just go and do that, copy paste. I want you to, to try to do it on your own. That way I can help you specifically according to your needs. I mean, if I notice that what some of you need help with uh, gerunds, I will give you information related to the gerunds, specifically to you. I will send you links and stuff that is going to help you improve in that area. If I realize that your problem is the perfect tenses, or perhaps that your problem is expressing future, I will send you info specifically according to your needs. That's why I want you to, to do it on your own, you see? I mean, that's the idea for, for me to, it's, that's going to be a tool for me to see exactly what are your specific and personal needs related to uh, grammar applied on writing, because that's a skill that usually in this course, uh, we don't really, really put into practice that much, if you have noticed. 
and that's what I wanted to do. Okay. Any question? No. Nope. We cool. No teacher. Yes. Perfect. Oh yes, we cool. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'm clear. Okay. Now let's talk about. Ooh. Let's see. Okay. We're going to skip one that is not necessary and go straight to one that is necessary. Again, we go to the manual, but we are now in page Exercise two. The exercise goes, match the terms to their corresponding meanings. We got the terms are update, drill, press release, mitigate, stakeholder, spokesperson. And you got the definitions, the meanings. Okay, what are we going to do? Use the pairing, matching, okay? For this, you're going to have, again, just three minutes is enough. So I'll send you to the breakout rooms. Rooms are open guys so please jump in and i'm gonna send you the image right now
Right. Mm -hmm. Spoke person is someone engaged or elected to speak on behalf of other, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. They. Okay. Teacher, how, how we can use drill? So in this word, drill is la taladrar and also taladro, right? No, 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 no. In this case, uh, uh, Drills. The practice of the procedure to be followed in an emergency. Yeah. Yeah, but I mean, mm, las instrucciones. Mm. Okay. Los ejercicios. Okay, drill. The exercises, the drills. Okay. Mm -hmm. yeah, it like when you are doing, uh, how do you call this? Mm -hmm. Let's forget this word in Spanish. <clears throat> Drill. Yeah. Simulacros. That's that's mm -hmm. in this case. Okay. Uh, that's drills. Simulacro. Simulacro es una traducción que no aparece en el traductor. <ríe> Tiene un montón that's, de traducciones. Pero... Okay, uh, try, try the other way around. Write in Spanish. Simulacro. And see if you can get drill. drill. Simulacro. Según Google, simulacro, simulacro, simulation. Only, only two traduction. Really? From Spanish to English? Yeah. Yeah, but it's, believe me, it's drills, okay? Oh, I believe yeah. you, teacher. <laughs> but, believe me, believe me, it's drills. <laughs> yeah, it's has... just that perhaps the context. Yeah. Drill has a lot of meaning. Yeah, yeah. The most common one is the tool. Yeah, the tool. Because it's also but, a verb. Oh uh, yeah. But in, in accounting, I saw the term drill too. Yeah, and also, uh, there's another way to say it. For using drill, uh, you say, uh, like, uh, uh, you know, the we were talking about the military and when yeah. you go on parade, in order to go on parade and you see that everything goes in order, uh, we make, we used to make drill practice. Oh. In practice, that case, it's or... like, uh, sería como practica de ejercicios. Yeah. Oh. Okay. But in this context, it's similar. Okay. Why, why they, they have it to use the, the same word for? Oh man, <laughs> it's crazy. The problem is that remember that this is not a pure, uh, a pure uh, language. It's a mix. Remember that, yeah, remember that uh, the, it, it comes from the Saxon and the uh, Normando. Right. Okay. So you have you have the Saxon and the Normando when when Normandos conquer the the Saxons and the problem was that the the, the Normandos that we are talking about lo que conocemos como vikingos uh, they they didn't want to lower themselves to speak the language of the conqueror and the conqueror 
didn't hate to speak the language of the of the other ones. So what they created was like a mixed tongue using words from both languages. That's why in English, you can encounter uh, words from French, words from, well, from Old Saxon, from Latin, from Spanish. I mean, they took uh, words from German, what later became German. So English is not a, a, it's not a pure language, right? It's not as Spanish. Even German tends to be more specific. Yeah. German is quite specific. So English is a mix. That's why some terms, uh, they can be used for many different things. And sometimes things that are like, I mean, pretty different. Like in this case, imagine simulacro and taladro. Taladrar, perforar. It doesn't make sense, right? No, that doesn't make sense. But, but yeah, but you know something funny? English yeah. is easier to think than Spanish. But how is possible uh, when the when you use the same word for? Oh, for it is. It is because English tends to be more. Uh, specific in the case that it's like the structures are followed like almost to the letter whereas in spanish some rules i mean we just avoid them i mean of course you know that for making a sentence in spanish you always have a subject a verb and complement as in english okay yeah but uh Veo tres personas en, este, en esta pantalla. Me acabo de clavar el yo. Veo. You see? I, mm -hmm. I didn't use it. I should have. But it's correct how I said it. But it's not grammarly correct. But it is grammarly correct. Why? Because the subject go, goes immersed in the, in the verb. And in Spanish, that's okay. It's accepted. But what about for somebody who doesn't speak Spanish? It's kind of complex. And the same verb in simple present. Veo, ves, ve, ven, vemos. Five more different bar, more variant. More variant yeah. for, the, for the word. Yeah, I mean, Spanish is complex. Look at this. Uh, 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 let's see. This is my hand. Okay. Yes. Right? Okay. La mano. You yeah. see? La yeah. mano. El dedo. La uña. El brazo. La muñeca. How do you explain that the dip, when is el and when is la to somebody who doesn't know Spanish? It's complex, yeah. right? Spanish yeah. is complex. Yeah. For the Believe yeah yeah spanish is quite complex i i don't dare to, to teach spanish <laughs> believe me i have had the opportunity to i mean i have a couple of friends they speak english and they work teaching spanish and they have offered me the chance to to, to go with them work with them and i'm like no way jose that's not my thing <laughs> spanish no no spanish is not easy um, okay, but it's for, quite difficult. I suppose you, when you speak English, like you, you you found easy English, but in our case, it's complicated. The same word, <laughs> the tense. Do you feel it complicated because uh, the problem here is our age? Our age. El problema es nuestra right. edad. A nuestra yeah. edad nosotros cuestionamos todo. Queremos saber el por qué y el cómo. Y eso yeah. nos hace un poquito más lento. Si simplemente aceptáramos, yo vengo y le digo, así es, y usted dice, ok, así es, punto. It would be easier. But <laughs> that's normal. Believe me, it's normal. Let's go back. Okay.
Let's just wait a couple of seconds, guys. I don't know why there's still people there. Where they come? Still missing two more. Okay. Well, let's see, guys. Let's do the exercise as fast and as painless as possible. Okay, update, update, Heidi. Um, update, bringing someone up to date. Quite easy, no? Mm -hmm. <laughs> bringing someone up to date. Thank you. Now, drill, not the tool. This one, Ileana, what is drill? Drill the practice of the procedure to be followed in an emergency. Exactly. And remember that it is also a tool, right? Yes. But in this case, it's the practice of the procedure to be followed in an emergency. To be clear, in this context, this word specifically means simulacro. Okay? O el ejercicio or the practice of the procedure to be following an emergency. The practice of the procedure, that's simulacro. That's what we call simulacro. Now, number three, press release, Ana Claudia. Sorry, I couldn't unmute. Uh, press release is um, official statement issue to newspaper with information on a particular matter. Perfect. Yvonne, you got number four, mitigate. Maybe lessen the gravity of crisis. That's quite perfect. Thank you very much, dear. Now let's see, Ada, you got stakeholder. Stakeholder. Mm. Is a person with an interest or concern in a business, businesses. Or okay, business. in a business. Yes. Thank you. And spokesperson, Maria Alejandra. Someone enters or elect to speak on, the, on behalf of others. Okay, perfect. That's number six. Now, remember, someone engaged or elected Hi. to speak on behalf of others. Okay. Next one was, thank you, Maria Alejandra. Official statement issued to newspapers with information on a particular matter. Bringing someone up to date, a person with an interest or concern in a business. Lessen the gravity of a crisis. The practice of the procedure to be followed in an emergency. Now, next exercise, let's see, hold on. Oops, sorry guys, sorry, 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 sorry. I don't know what I have my head to. Okay, the following are the steps to take into consideration when developing a crisis communication plan. Discuss their order with your classmates. That's what you're going to do this class. Discuss, but first let me read for you. Practice and drill. Revise, practice and drill again. When you drill, use the situations you have identified as potential crisis and use the draft communications and conduct mock interviews. Identify what works and modify the plan accordingly. Repeat the process. Identify the crisis team. The people representing all main aspects of the organization, operations, management, employees. This team makes decisions and keeps communication up to date in an emergency. Develop communication processes and protocols. Approving procedures in place in advance is critical to respond quickly. Identify the channels you will use to communicate in real time 
and who is responsible for making updates. Okay, guys. It's 9.49, so four minutes for this because we need to discuss it. Groups are open and I'm sending the screenshot for you right about now.
teacher. Yep. In the next page, the yeah, it was the second part. Yeah, there is another concept. Two concepts. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay, we include in the in the exercise. Yeah, and I and I forgot sending it to you. Okay, guys, my bad. I forgot sending to you the second part of the exercise that was in the following page. But let me. Uh, 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 let me do something so we can do it. Just a second. Okay, here we go. I'm sorry, my bad, my completely bad. Okay, what we got is this, we got Practice and drill, revise, practice and drill again, identify the crisis, the crisis team, develop communication processes and protocols, select and train spokespersons, and don't forget social media. So what is the order? What is the order to follow, guys? Let's see, I'll need one person to help me. Uh, Fernando, please. What you got as number one, let's see. As number, one, as number one, we got identify the crisis team. Excellent. That's number one, identify the crisis team. In this case, number two will be, if we take as we yeah, identify the number one, number two will be select <laughs> and train spokespersons, the person designated to be the official voice of the organization in the event of a crisis. There should be a backup for this person and all should participate in training at least annually. So next one is develop. This is number three. This one will be number three, develop communication processes and protocols. Number four, in this case is, don't forget social media. Why? Okay, look, monitor the channels and be prepared to respond quickly if an issue gains momentum, okay? And number five will be practice and drill, revise, practice and drill again. That will be the order. We are going to make a review of this, but this can help you also to prepare the little plan we are working on for uh, next week. So guys, I'm sorry for this exercise. My mistake, I forgot sending you this, my bad. My deepest and sincerely apologize. Now, let's see, let me get the final attendance because believe it or not, time has flown. Ada Susena Cáceres Mendoza. Present teacher. Alejandro Alfredo Sagastume Díaz. Ana Claudia González Velázquez. Present. Dani Josué García Martínez. Present. Eloisa Beatriz Mercado Mancía. Fernando Marvin González Martínez. 
Present. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejía. Present teacher. Jairi Eugenia Salguero de Rivas. Present teacher, good night. Good night. Ileana Giselle Cañas Escobar. Teacher. Irina Susana Cuellar Albanés. Present teacher. José Marcos Rodríguez Ayala. Present. José Osmín Rivas Navas. Present. José Wilfredo Ayala Soto. Present teacher. Juan Carlos Romero López. Present teacher. María Alejandra Barrientos Romero. Present teacher. Ramón Enrique Mata Escobar. Roberto Luis Maña Orellana. Roxana Ivette Asensio de Mejía. Steven Vladimir Villacorta Rivera. Suleima Yvonne Moreno de Hernández. Present. Hey guys, thank you very much. Have a good night and a good weekend. See you Monday. Bye bye. Don't forget working in the platform. Bye. Take care. Thank you, teacher. Good night, everybody. Good night, everyone. Good night. Bye. Bye. Good night. Bye. Good night. bye.
Well, thanks, Sam.